Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you'd like to take Outlook attachments from emails and save it automatically into a particular folder, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it done. There's a few steps involved, so make sure that your Outlook is open and follow along. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're using the desktop version here. And the reason we're using the desktop version is because there's no trust center in Outlook on the web version. All right, so um, you need to be using the desktop app. So what we're going to do is on the top left hand side, we're going to go and hit file and right over here, you'll see a bunch of settings. So right on the bottom on the left hand side, you'll see options. Let's go and tap on that. And from there, you will see on this new window, trust center on the bottom left. Let's go and tap on that. Let's go ahead now and look for trust center settings and open it up. Now on the left hand side of this menu, you'll see quite a few options. You're looking for macro settings. You're going to now make sure that notifications for all macros is selected. That means the notifications for digital signed macros and all other macros disabled should not be the one that's selected. So go ahead and select that and let's click on OK. Let's go ahead and click on OK here as well. Let's close this window. So if you have a look at the ribbon right at the top of your um, Outlook interface, you will see file, home, send, receive, folder, view, help, so on. You should be looking for developer mode over here, right? Now, if you don't have developer mode, you can add it in, but there is a shortcut to getting to where we want to go. So all you need to do is hold in Alt on your keyboard and you're going to go and tap on F11. You will find yourself on the Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. All right, so you're going to use the menu items right at the top. You'll see file, edit, view, insert. We're going to look for insert and we're going to look for module. You're going to go ahead and paste this in your text box over here, and I will leave this in the description down below. Then all you need to do is take the line that says S save folder equals, and it'll have a file location. Now, what you'll need to do is just rewrite the file location. So depending on where you would like to save your attachments, you can go ahead and just change that single line from the inverted commas. So from here, you can go up to the toolbar again. You're going to look for file. And here you want to click on save VBA project dot OTM. All right. So once we've done this, we can now close all of these windows. Let's get back to our Outlook app. So right from here, you want to make sure that you're on the home tab from the menu up on the top of the screen and you are going to locate rules. And let's drop down this menu over here. You'll have quite a few options. And we're looking for manage rules and alerts. Let's go ahead and click on a new rule over here on the left hand side. Right from the menu over here, you'll see a few options. But what we're looking for is the start from a blank rule. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click on apply rule on messages I receive. So we're going to start completely from a blank and create the rule from scratch. Let's go and click on next. So now we want to go and uh, create the rules parameters. So it says, what do you want to do with this message? Let's go ahead. We're going to scroll here and it's almost right at the bottom. The line that we're looking for is run a script. All right, let's go and select that. Step two over here at the bottom now requires you to edit the message. So just go and tap on the blue highlighted run a script. You'll see now that there is already a script in this box. What you need to do is just select it, make sure that it's highlighted in blue and click on OK. This will essentially allow you to save your attachments to a specific location. If your step two box looks like this, you are on the right step. Let's go ahead and click on next. So from here, you're going to go ahead and give your rule a name so you can name it whatever it is that you'd like. Then step two, you need to make sure that it says run this rule now on messages already in inbox. This means that whatever messages are already in your inbox, all of the attachments from those messages will be saved to your preferred location. You can keep this off and just have the attachments downloaded from messages that are still to be received into your inbox. You can also um, make sure that it says turn on this rule. This box should be selected if you want this rule to be on. You can toggle this on and off um, as your needs may change. You can also have multiple accounts on Outlook, so you can have this rule apply to all of those accounts or just the account that we're currently working with. Step three involves making sure that you're just reviewing the rule description. You can see that everything looks right over here. And we're just going to go down and click on finish. We're going to now restart our device and open up Outlook again. 
and your attachments from new emails will now be automatically saved into the destination folder that we set up in this process. I hope this was helpful.